My name is Mr Nolan and I teach the Stage 6 Computing Applications course. Computer-based technology is an integral part of our life. This is reflected in the daily activities that we carry out in various contexts, such as the workplace, education, entertainment, recreation, and in the home. Although many of us have been exposed to computers uh, and the associated hardware for most of our lives, especially you guys, um, you've been exposed to it um, from very young, however, it doesn't mean that everyone is competent in using a computer for a range of tasks. In this course, students will participate in hands-on activities to develop skills, knowledge and understanding relating to information and communication technologies so they can participate confidently in the context and environments I mentioned earlier. So what do we mean by information technology? The most basic information technology definition is that it's the application of technology to solve business or organisational problems on a broad scale. Information technology is the ability to use, te use technology and more specifically computer-based technology to store, retrieve, transmit and manipulate data or information. In computing applications, you will undertake a range of tasks that allow you to develop the following. Skills and understanding and using a range of computer software and associated terminology. Knowledge and understanding of computer-based systems. Skills in demonstrating the process and application of project management techniques. Understanding the ethical and moral implications of past and emerging technologies and skills in evaluating the appropriateness of computer software in a range of contexts. Uh, this course is broken down into a number of modules and these modules can be uh, chosen with regards to student preferences and their own interests. These modules in include hardware and software skills, spreadsheets, graphics and desktop publishing or design, databases, communications, and multimedia. Okay, so students will engage in tasks such as creating spreadsheets to collect and manage data and to perform calculations and queries on data to deliver specific information or statistics. You might use Microsoft Word to create documents and forms. You might work with Adobe Creative Suite to create print and digital media uh, to communicate information to a target audience. You might create websites and online media for business promotion and management, and you uh, may explore communication and networking technologies to connect individuals and businesses. All tasks, all tasks are problem-based. That means you'll be given a proposed problem, and it is up to you to use technology to find and create a solution. These problems are usually based on real-life scenarios such as creating a budget calculator for students to be able to track their spending on materials for a construction project. There is also scope for individual and group learning. Expectations for this course. There are no real prerequisites for this course. You don't have to be competent on the computer. You just need to have an interest in building your technology skills. Having access to technology at home and having your own device would be an advantage and also being willing to engage in group activities will also be a, bit, a benefit. However, remember you can develop these skills as you go along. What can this subject offer you? This course will provide you with the opportunity to build your technology skills and gain an overall understanding of computer operations and the ability to utilise a range of software to create solutions. This is a very real advantage in the workplace and for further vocational training or tertiary education. The skills you can gain are adaptable and relatable to the use of technology in everyday life and employment. Every employer would love to have their team members comfortable with computer technologies, as these technologies drive the future in business and communications. This course is a content endorsed course. That means that it is overseen and regulated by NESA, the New South Wales Education Standards Authority, and all marks are submitted to NESA each year. Your results will be recorded on your Year 12 transcript, however, your marks do not go towards your ATAR. 